Hello everyone, it is Hacks for Forever. Today we're going to be doing uh, part two of our crystal security review. Um, we've got a uh, pack of malware on the desktop like usual. Uh, got the application installed, ready to go. Um, got Reagan with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of mandatory for this shit. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we have decreed it is mandatory for Reagan to exist. Anyway, um, so yeah, we've got 600... <laughs> almost said 670. No, 687 items in our um, pack of malware today. Let's open up the trusty info.txt. We have 687, I think it was, wasn't it? Yes. 687 items in our folder. Now, is there a scanning function for this application? <laughs> I really should have probably looked into this first. I can't just right-click scan. Fuck. Okay, well, um, let's figure out how we're going to do this. Uh, advanced. Advanced checkup mode. Okay. Um, what is checkup mode? <laughs> I thought that might have been a scan, but I don't think it actually was. I think it just literally broke the application. Oh, no, it just restarted it. Okay, well, what is it going to do now? It's going to sit there ominously. Okay. It is scanning, I guess? Oh, is this like a tune-up thing? No, no, this is like a... It's a checkup, and it's supposed to... It's a, it's their scanning, but it, you can't scan folders individually. You actually have to scan the whole hard disk. Please do add that. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. I mean, I guess I really <laughs> could just actually hold on a second. I could just turn on the protection real quick. Oh yeah, I'll just turn on the protection and then I'll just do this. I'll just refresh the folder. And make I'll get it. And I'll create a text document in the folder. See what it does. Is it going to freak out? Nope. It hasn't actually, like, thought anything was weird. Okay, so it isn't actually, like, wanting to check this folder for some reason. Alright, cool. Um, is it literally going to have to scan the whole computer for this? And this isn't very advanced for scanning. Not to mention, also, why does the why does the interface have to restart for the app like for it to be able to scan folders and stuff? I don't understand this. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just wait for this thing to figure out itself, and we'll, we'll try to get this folder scanned, and we'll come back whenever we have it done. Okay, we're back. Well, I'm back. Um, as you can see by the clock, it has been around three hours and this application is still detecting stuff it is taking a ridiculous amount of time and the scans uh, you can only scan a folder by right like you can right click and analyze with crystal security but you actually have to go into the settings here and turn on the shell integration once you turn it on, then you can analyze a folder, but it doesn't actually open any kind of scanning interface. It just kind of looks at the folder and shows you all these alerts. This thing has been going for three hours like this, just popping up warnings over and over and over again, occasionally asking for some input. I have been waiting so long. This thing is just taking ridiculous amounts of time. This application is just not, not anything you would ever want to use to remove any malware from your computer. It's just, it is not. Any kind of large sum of malware on your computer, it would just take way too long. You'd have to leave this overnight, and even then your computer would probably go to sleep by the time you even got halfway through the stuff. The scan, I don't know, I can't get the scan to actually work for this folder. It only scans certain folders. It doesn't actually, it won't detect this folder, so... I've only been able to get it to work by analyzing the folder and one by one deleting the shit that it doesn't like. So honestly, at this point, I'm just have to kind of I'm just gonna have to classify Crystal Security as a terrible program in the state it's in. 
its scanning functions are just horrendous for removal. I don't even, like... And there's not even really a purpose to do a zero-day test because of the way this particular application works. You know it's going to do good. See, like... I mean, I, I can't even calculate the detection ratio because it's taking so long. And I just don't have the energy nor the time to wait for this thing anymore. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to classify Crystal Security as a very, very broken program at this state. It it does remove malware, it does a good job, but it just takes a ridiculous amount of time. And if the developer of this application is watching, please just add the scan function, your right-click analysis thing. Make it so where it actually goes into a scanner. It scans only the folder and makes sure that everything in that folder is good. And then if it doesn't, if it detects something in the folder, add it to the little unsafe icon, the suspicious icon, and then give me a massive, you know how every other virus scanner does, give me one list of shit that you've detected and then just remove it all at once, rather than waiting for hours and hours to remove all the crap and just making me sit here and wait and wait and wait. I mean, this folder has slowly just gotten smaller and smaller over time, but it, it, it still it goes one by one. Like you have to actually interact with these messages every single time, or you have to wait 15 seconds for it to actually delete the object. It doesn't just instantly delete it the moment the threat is detected. Like it's just really, really slow and pedantic, and this application is just horrendous in this removal process. It's so pedantic, just so slow and clunky, and just needs to be completely redesigned. Like, it is not something you would want to use to remove malware from your system. There are plenty, plenty of other options out there that would detect stuff way faster than this would ever detect it. And as for, you know, the actual zero-day portion, you'd just be getting messages similar to this one, where it's just user decide, or it would detect it as malware. You get the allow, block, and details button, and basically whatever I chose to do at that particular moment, it would do. And sure, you can make the argument, well, the, you know, it would give you advice, and you could do whatever you wanted to based upon the advice, and... Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but honestly, like I said, I just don't have the time nor the effort nor the want to just go with this program anymore. I just want it out of my sight. I'd like to go and, and be in my bed and be comfortable for a little bit and actually sleep for a while. Because I've been up for... Um, I don't know how many hours. Too many hours. And yeah, I'm honestly just uh, a little bit burnt on this program at this point. So... Um, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm sorry I didn't actually get to complete the review like I, how I wanted to. Um, I mean, this application is just not not designed, nor should be designed. Well, I mean, it should be designed, but it's just not intended to remove malware in this case, I suppose. I'm not really sure what the actual purpose of this thing is supposed to be. I guess maybe just to stop it rather than try to find it. I, I mean, it does okay in the prevention test, but there's still a lot of flaws, and now we have 666 <laughs> things in the blacklist. <laughs> My god. Oh boy. Like, there is just so many issues that this application has, and I know it's one guy making, to, making this thing. More power to you, man. Like, you have probably put hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of coding into this thing. It's a fantastic program. But it just has a lot of problems that need to be worked out. Like, if you can get these, like, if you can add a sandbox to it, if you can fix this scanning system, if you can add, like, some other form of, um, like, like fix, well, well don't even add another thing. You can just, just fix, redesign the buttons here. So, like, do this for everything. Everything that's classified as a threat, do this in this alert, but just get rid of the, th the, the, the timer. Please, just get rid of the delay. Like, delete it the moment you detect it, get rid of the delay, show it for like three seconds and then make it disappear. Or have like paged alerts. Add a little page with buttons that you can navigate through the alerts and see how many alerts. And then you just close them all with one click and it, it, would, it would have already deleted all the malware before you even showed the alert. Because, I mean, it's just so slow. See, look, this malware, 652. If I find it... 652. 
Oh, it actually is deleted. So it, it just really depends. It sometimes it deletes it, sometimes it doesn't. It's just really weird. Like so, let's see. Six fifty three. Okay, so it's probably gonna detect six fifty four next. Oh, six fifty four. Okay, so it does delete at the moment the alert actually does appear, but it should it should have already been gone by the time the alert even comes up on, like. <laughs> It's just so slow. Like, if I run these, let's see what I do if I run some of these. Let me just, you know, I'll just do this. For, just for the hell of it. Why not? Let's run them all. Run every single thing and see what happens. Can this application even keep up with it if I ran all these at once? I don't even know if I can run all these at once, to be honest. It's insane. Truly insane. Anyway. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.